Hey guys, look what I've got here. The uh, Thor 300 running on a Fungineous battery on extended rails and the big tire on a Superflux high torque. And I want to test if it's true that this combination just won't overheat at all. Thor 300 and Superflux motor. Let's check it out. Yeah, and I'm comparing it to two other setups that I have on the right side with the right Hermes jersey. I'm on one of my favorite builds. It comes with the DIY rails made by Rob from Floatbox. And I'm using a hypercore and just a custom made um, controller box from Obligatory. So I can put the big tire on normal length rails. So it's really one of my favorite boards, but it tends to overheat pretty quickly. But it's a lightweight trail and trick board, which I love. And on the left side, uh, the West jersey, I'm on a Superflux MK1 with a little Fokker in a float box and a 20S2P battery but uh, all the tunes are pretty uh, much the same so I use the same tune on all boards and also the motor current and battery current is all the same so let's see how they go and I think on the left and on the right you see the temperatures of the little focus are already by 50 uh, at 50 degrees while the Thor is at 35. You can also compare the consumption of all these setups while on the left and on the right side it's pretty similar and also I'm on the same section whereas in the center on a Thor 300 I'm a little behind so to compare the consumption it's at 50 on the left and on the right but now in the center it's going up at the same direction I think on the high torque superflux that I use in the center, the consumption may be a little less, but I think the average consumption you should completely ignore because um, the Thor 300 was already running for 40 minutes before I started the test, so. Yeah, and after four minutes of climbing, looks like uh, the little focus are already close to overheat. Now they are on a rather flat section, so maybe it can cool down a little. But after that, there is the steepest section coming. It's up to 40% um, inline while the Thor is still just almost at the same temperature as at the beginning, at 37. Climb, climb up that steep hill. I hope they can make it left and right. On the right side, I've set even the uh, high temperature tilt back to 
starting at 73 so it should start actually three degrees earlier now i should already get the push back and on the left side you see me in the push back it's a 70 it's running in the high temperature push back but i just climb up yeah up the hill and i have to stop and i have to cool down the little fokker and also on the right side the little fokker with the hyper core and you see the hyper core is what it was at 62 degrees yeah unfortunately i did stop the recording there but i realized maybe i should continue recording so taking a walk on the left side so just show you some Some trails here and there and the reason why it's important to climb up the mountains and in the middle with the Thor I'm also walking but I have to walk because there is water I don't want to risk the water and damage on the first ride so but the temperatures are still very low and now also the Right Hermes guy is on taking a walk and goes down to that uh, waterfall. On the left side, I'm on a beautiful trail in the woods. So for me, it's just super important to be able to climb up the mountains because there are so many beautiful spots. And I want to enjoy riding up there. I don't want to walk and hike I want to ride you know so and see how I can climb up with the Thor and the super flux on a, at a good pace up the hill up 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 get back to the boards and check the temperatures so what I see on the right side is 54 degrees for the controller but the hypercore is still at 61 so yeah I was thinking what can I do should I climb up further or yeah, I decided to just take the downhill and you can see the motor is cooling so I think it was the better decision to go down, but with the super flux that cool is still cool at 37 and also the controller cooled down below 50 degrees, I decided to, to follow the other one and go up and see if I can make it up the hill without having another break because of overheating. But definitely no problem for the Thor 300 and Superflux combo, it will make it ice cold to the top of the hill without overheating. And here we see the little fucker did overheat in halfway through and I had to take another break before I was at the top of the hill. Again, because of overheating and with a Thor, it stayed cool until the top of the hill. Yeah. 